Case four. I can take this one. All right. So deep in the dermis from this power can see a decent amount of inflammation. Maybe some red blood cells leaking from the wall. Okay. As we go closer, can see the outline of maybe some keratin flakes. Mm. What I think of with this is a ruptured cyst. Very good. Yeah, so we've got granuloma here with neutrophils, lymphocytes, probably going to be EOs, plasma cells, everything, right? All the inflammation. And the key is why is the granuloma there? That's basically whenever we see granulomas, that's what we want to figure out. Is there a reason for the granuloma to be here? Infectious organism, foreign debris, or debris like keratin, which our body makes keratin, but it's not supposed to be in the dermis, right? It's supposed to be inside of a hair follicle in the form of a hair shaft or on the surface of the skin. So when it gets into past the basement membrane and into the dermis, for whatever reason, the body does not like it and it really gets overreactive. So that's why if you rupture a hair follicle or if you rupture a cyst, you get a really intense granulomatous and uh, uh, inflammatory response. And so the key here is finding the little thin flakes or wisps of pink keratin inside the histiocytes tells you that we have evidence for why this granuloma happened. Now, could there also be infection? Sure. You know, so always keep that in mind. You can have infection that produces cystic epidermal change and then rupture. So you can have, you can have that. But in this case, this looks great for a ruptured cyst. If I see a bunch of granuloma and, and uh, granulation tissue that looks like it could be a ruptured cyst, but I can't find any keratin or any cyst wall, then sometimes I'll say it's granulomatous. I'll just describe it and say that this could be the sequela. I like that word. The sequela of a ruptured cyst, but I don't see keratin or a cyst wall. And that way, to at least for the, have the, the treating physician keep in mind that, you know, infection's possible, other things are possible. So basically, if it doesn't get better after surgery, you know, think about rebiopsying and culturing. Uh, I had a case like that, actually, where it looked very much like a ruptured cyst, but there was no keratin. And we said, probably it's just a ruptured cyst, but then it recurred right by the, the excision site. And on recurrence, it had more neutrophils, more granuloma, and the distribution was kind of weird. And there were AFB organisms, acid fast bacilli, and it was actually mycobacterial infection. But in this case, this is just a ruptured cyst. And this, is, this pattern is called a keratin granuloma. Good job. Case five. 